Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can resize your column and rows in Google Spreadsheet. Basically I will show you two different methods, one is using the manual mode and the another one is using the tools. So first of all if you want to resize any column right here, if you just select like this and then if you move like this it will not automatically adjust all the rows or column that you selected. To do this you just need to click right here you can see this is the blue dark blue button so if you select this three row like this clicking here right click and then if you just hover here and just move it like this you can see you can together resize all the three rows from here if you want to resize individually you can do this by just selecting one single row and adjust it like this the same thing happened to the columns if you want to just resize the two columns you can you can manually select one by one like this just select one column and then you can just hover it like this but if you want to resize uh, all the two columns you can just click and select here and then just drag like this now if you want to uh, automatically do it through the tools you can also do that for this i just undo all the changes and let me show you you can just select all the columns or rows you want to do and then right click on it and it will you will, will get this option resize uh, column a to c so if you want to just resize the column you can choose this just click here and then you can enter the size what size you want maybe i want to make it uh, 200 200 pixel and then click ok you can see all our columns in 200 pixel now you can also justify the column based on the data for this you can also just select like this right click on this resize column and fit to data so it will automatically adjust all the rows uh, to this all the columns to this size so i can just click ok you can see it will automatically fit with the data that i have entered in the cells so by this way you can just resize all the rows and column through this method i hope you learned something new and if you like the video hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this i'll see you guys on the next video